Hello and welcome to episode five of Cape Expectations. Now uh, we've got some terrific stuff for you on the show today. Loads of guests. Uh, what have we got, Gav? Absolutely loads, as Sam said. Um, we're going to kick off straight away though with Thor and Loki themselves telling us who they like better, Batman or Superman. Batman, soups. <clears throat> And why is that for both um, uh, I'll, I can literally pinpoint in the moment, seven years old, um, I see Christopher Reeve as Superman for the first time with that theme tune. Um, uh, I, love, I just love that film. I love it, mm. unequivocally. And I remember when I was auditioning for the, for the very first Thor film, uh, I got the script through and I thought, God, you know, this, it's like, it's, it's the superheroes and it's quite a kind of, there's quite a sort of archaic language. It's obviously not like naturalistic. What can I what can I reference to, to, to get a handle on this? And I went back and I rented Superman, Richard Donner's very mm. first Superman, and I watched it and I thought, that is how you do it. Christopher Reeve, Masterclass. Mm. Wonderful. Uh, Batman, because you just never read Cape. You know? <laughs> and uh, I've already got one of those. So, um, But I also just love what Nolan did with uh, with that world, you know, I think it was the, the grit and grime of it and, and the sort of depth he created. And mm, it was amazing. It was uh, kind of stunning. and. Um, yeah, I think it's just, I, I love it. I love it all, I'm a fan of Superman too. We were talking about Superman Thor having a fight. We'd like to see Wouldn't that. Wouldn't you love to see that? I would, who would win? I don't know. Well, exhausting, wouldn't it? It would be, <laughs> for you. <laughs> for me. Um, I think I'd love to watch it. Can you imagine Loki sitting on the side of going, ooh, <laughs> that must have hurt. Um, uh, I, but I quite like the idea of seeing what happens to Superman when he gets the hammer in his chest on the S. Take that. That stands for hope. <laughs> a hammer on hope. Yeah, I, I absolutely loved those answers. Yeah. I thought Hiddleston like, really got into it. Um, they seem like they're best friends. They yeah, totally. Like... <laughs> they, they seem like they love each other. I mean, they're, yeah. they're just so, like, yeah, I, I reckon they hang out outside yeah. of uh, making superhero movies. Well, I just I love Hiddleston. I think he's just like yeah, me too. his like Twitter persona and stuff like that. He just seems like he's the nicest person in the world. Yeah, um, and, and there's a, also a, a workout tips video um, yeah. from Thor 2 um, on our YouTube channel. Yeah. And um, their chemistry, yeah. like, he it's does, just a really like incredible. in love with them. We pretty much are. A little bit, a little bit in love with them. But um, anyway. Yeah. But this isn't about Thor. It's not about Thor, it's but about Thor is very, very good. It's about Batman. And it started filming. We are actually started filming. Yeah. Um, so they filmed the first scene the other day, which has like... Which is huge. Yeah. So they had, uh, it looks like uh, Gotham University versus uh, Metropolis University. Yeah. Like in like a sort of like uh, NFL game. Yeah. Well, not NFL, but yeah. In a... uh, yeah, like a, a college football thing. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of... Uh, almost strange that they'd start it with that because it. I mean, I don't know about you, but yeah. it instantly takes me back to um, to rises, to rises yeah. and when they put that call out for fans to come along and. It is kind of strange that they have done that because that scene is really iconic. It was the yeah. scene that was like pretty much talked about in all the trailers. Yeah, yeah. You've seen like you know the field disappearing and things. Yeah, like exactly. That. So it is kind of strange. But then we were just having a chat about it, and it, it seems like well, I mean, what I would think is, can you imagine if you've got like you know the the Gotham University, the people supporting Gotham on one side, mm. people supporting Metropolis on one side, and then in just in the yeah. crowd you've got like you know you've got like uh, like Henry Cavill, yeah, maybe, exactly. maybe reporting on the game or something like that. And yeah, you have yeah, like yeah. Bruce Wayne in his swanky private box. Oh yeah, uh, which yeah, really, yeah. Really cool. But um, which which all sounds pretty wonderful. Yeah. But um, there is slight, there are slight alarm bells for me. Really? Um, Why? Just just in the. Um, did you read uh, the? I think it was an extra. Yeah, saying, was, this is the guy that's posted up. Like he's posted up his video, basically of uh, a scene being shot and people yeah. shouting like "GCU, GCU" and stuff like that. So yeah, um, basically, uh, this guy says that um, he was part of a scene where Bruce Wayne goes into uh, the dressing room of uh, the, what are they called, the Gotham well, Raiders? I th yeah, I think he said he wasn't actually part of the scene, but they... Oh, he spoke to someone spoke that to someone was part that of the scene. That okay. said that um, they'd filmed Ben Affleck's first scene, which is unconfirmed. Yeah, yeah. He said they filmed this first scene, which is him in the locker room talking, like, bigging up the guy's sort of like any given Sunday style, giving like a piece with inches speech. Yeah. I, I really hope that's not true. But yeah. Then it's, this is an extra who obviously can't be trusted because he's taking footage on his mobile phone, which I'm pretty sure he probably wasn't allowed to do. That's, that's true. So. Um, I, I really hope that's not the case just because yeah. it, it doesn't, I, it just doesn't Why fit in with my I, idea of Bruce Wayne. I yeah. mean, what, what literally, what is the point in that? Yeah. Um, I'd, yeah, I'd like, 
But then I would, yeah, I just like I just like the idea of him like you know watching the game and maybe yeah, exactly, maybe yeah, like Cavill catching his eye or something. Yeah, like I that. mean that is great. Like, yeah, that yeah, would be very cool. Yeah, so um, we shall wait and see. Yeah, but um, Baffleck, uh, the other thing that was big this week is uh, gave an interview where he said he was initially reluctant to take on yep. the role, which I mean that's pretty obvious, right? Like anyone would be like, yeah, even people as big as Ben Affleck, like you can't. How do you follow something like Christian Bale's Batman, which is pretty much universally loved? Mm. Although I did meet a guy in the pub last night who said he hated it. What? I know. It was like. It was what a guy did he as, say? Well, he said, uh, "Oh, they're overblown. People, people like them, and they don't actually. Uh, people who like them don't actually like movies." What? Uh, yeah, it was a really, really strange guy. It's basically, you know, when you meet someone, no, no, you no. instantly go. Yeah, this friendship's not gonna <laughs> extend beyond this meeting, so unfortunately. I can totally understand Affleck being reticent, yeah. and obviously, you know, it, it bore out because everyone went nuts on Twitter. Yeah. I felt really sorry for the guy. Yeah. But um, yeah, and I think Warner Brothers approached him like two or three times before he actually really? took it. Yeah, yeah. That's but, cool. But um, well, he was. He's like the Warner Brothers golden boy, isn't yeah. he? They love him. Well, he said he was reluctant to take the role until then. Snyder sort of shared with him this his vision, his new vision for Batman. Yeah. Um, but we asked you guys on Twitter and Facebook, like, what yes. do you think this new vision uh, would? Yeah, because apparently involve? it was good enough to convince um, Affleck. So yeah, exactly. It must yeah. be pretty exciting. Uh, we got Will Brooker on Twitter who says his new vision would be dark. It's all in capitals. <laughs> dark, really dark and grim. I hope. Manly, gritty, and butch. <laughs> Hashtag Batfleck. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a great comment. Yeah, um, I mean, that's, kind of hilarious. That's sort of been confirmed, isn't it? That he's going to be a gritty Batman. He's going to be like weary, and uh, we've talked about this before. Like the Warner mm. Brothers studio exec has sort of confirmed that. Yeah, I mean, I again, we just we just got no idea. Yeah. Because that sounds too much like Nolan. Yeah. I mean, we we talked about this a bit last week, but yeah. the manly, gritty, and butch. <laughs> But then the idea, I mean, if, if we are, I mean, if, let's just run for a second with what that extra said, you mm. know, and him, you know, if, yeah. you know uh, Bruce Wayne going in and being a bit more involved and being a bit more charismatic and being a bit more like sort of out there for the people. Yeah, yeah. That may, that's a new vision, I guess. That's like, true, actually. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm on board with it after yeah. all. Um, when you put sounds, it like that. Track Sounds on Twitter said, <laughs> perhaps he will make it bright, hopeful and heroic since he didn't bother to use any of those things recently. So I don't know how that is, how Batman will be bright and hopeful. Yeah, I mean that that's traditionally Superman's yeah, exactly. bag. I think but track sounds have got some beef with the Man of Steel there. I mean, my hope for the new vision, my hope for the new costume, mm. is that it's more like seventies Batman. So like the blue and grey suit. Okay. Um, I saw someone on Twitter saying that he hopes that it's not cloth. Which, uh, which I agree with, because that wouldn't be very protective. But yeah. um, if they sort of move away from the, the oh, dark suit, the, okay. and just that could make it a bit more Well, I like, I like the Nolan thing, because was, the thing that I liked about the Nolan stuff is everything that he had was functional. Yeah. Like, so everything... You know, Even the cape. It, exactly, yeah. So everything did something, and they sort of tried to explain it away in, like, real-world terms and things mm -hmm. like that, which is maybe something they don't have to do um, in Batman vs Superman because you know if you're not worried about making like a grounded movie because they mm. obviously not because it's got freaking Superman in it so you know do you know what it does sound like it could this Batman could be a lot more showy offy yeah because you've got him going into the dressing room if that um, happens, if yeah. that happens. Yeah. we've got um, the rumours about the Batmobile yeah. so it's not going to be like the Tumblr which was essentially yeah, a tank yeah. functional and they're talking about it being um, yes they have just talked Cadillac. about the new, yeah so they talked about the, the Batmobile getting redesigned by GM Motors and being more like Cadillac -y. I mean I hated the Tumblr like absolutely hated really? it, despised it, yeah. Right, okay. I just, really, I just thought it was See, ridiculous. I, I, hate is strong, yeah. but I wasn't a huge fan of yeah. it. Like I liked, um, in Dark Knight, I liked the bat pod. Yeah, I think that's awesome. I really like that. And Loved again, it. functional. Yeah. I hated the bat wing thing. I oh, see, I like that as well. I, it was like, as soon as that came on, I was like, this is like Transformers. Oh, um, come on. It, like, I just didn't really, really like it. Because it, it didn't fit in with the rest of, the, of uh, it didn't fit in with the rest of the Nolan trilogy for me because yeah, I just it did. Said, like you came got, in black. Yeah, but you got like the the you know the really grounded suit and mm -hmm. like that was real. And then it was just like you had this flying bug thing. I don't know. It wasn't it wasn't for me. Um, but yeah, it's still exciting though that you know they you know this is the cool thing is 
they're redesigning so much. Like, mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, and we still have so much information to come out of them. So uh, I spoke to Harrison Ford um, about Ender's Game. Uh, and while I was there, I decided to ask Han Solo and Indiana Jones who his favorite is, Batman or Superman? Superman for me, sorry. He flies. Uh, I can put on a bat suit and be Batman. Sorry, Batman. What can I tell you? <laughs> I still like that Lois Lane chair. <laughs> I, that's not an option. <laughs> you definitely, you can have Lois. Yeah. Yeah, if I... I, I gravitate more towards the girls, but thanks for asking. <laughs> so in episode four, you asked me what I would want to see if there was like a post credit scene. Yeah. Um, you put me on the spot a little bit. And yeah. I couldn't think of anything. Um, so we asked you guys what you guys wanted to see. Um, and a lot of people actually really against the post and mid credits stuff that mm. Marvel going, oh, that's a Marvel thing, not a DC thing. What? Yeah, I mean, I yeah, I, I don't know. I guess it's kind of a good point because yeah. In Man of Steel, um, Snyder sort of demonstrated that his interest is more in dotting loads of little references yes. throughout yeah, the film yeah. rather than, but come on, you want people to leave the cinema on a high and... It's not just a Marvel thing. I mean, yeah. they've become, they become obviously quite famous for doing it, but yeah, yeah. you get quite a lot and quite a lot of movies, like quite a lot of animated movies as well. You get like yeah, a lot yeah. of post credits thing, just as a little sort of Easter egg thing. Um, yeah. I'm not against it, but at the same time, like I'm not, I, I think, I think like, it's fun. It's something to look forward to, isn't it? Yeah, like, exactly. Like, you saw Thor the other day, and mm. like I'm seeing it this evening, and mm -mm. I asked you, you know, oh, you know, what, what's the what's the credit scene like? Was, that was the, that was like the main the second question I asked you. Yeah, the movie exactly. Good? Yeah, what's yeah. the credit scene? Yeah, yeah, like? exactly. Um, and I tell you what, the mid credit scene is pretty exciting. Amazing. I'm but really yeah. looking forward to it. But on Facebook, we have some really good ones. Um, Mark Bourgeois, I guess, says it could take place in the JLA satellite, and Soup says the first of our candidates are beaming up now, and all we see are ships. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's quite cool, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's I really can, I nice. See that being quite awesome. Um, Patrick J. Harris, I think that's on Facebook, just says just the Joker's maniacal laughter, which is uh, quite yeah, nice. Yeah, that's quite cool. Yeah. I mean, that sort of happened in Begins, didn't it? Really, you sort of get. It wasn't quite credit, it was right at the end of the movie when mm. Gordon shows Batman the Joker card. Mm -mm. Um, so that sort of reminds me a little bit of that, maybe. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Too much. And that's um, that's almost a like, post credit scene. It isn't is, it? yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. Actually, know. yeah. Uh, it just comes just before the credits. Yeah, it? exactly. Um, but yeah, uh, Hashem M. Ibrahim gives probably the best comment we've had on anything ever. <laughs> Says, Iron Man drops down like a boss. Looks at both Batman and Superman and goes, your head is going up his ass and your head is going up his ass, Hancock style. Roll credits on said priceless scene. Can we just say now that's definitely happening? <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's a slightly more realistic one okay. um, from Kieran Polland. Um, show one of Wonder Woman's boots stepping foot in Metropolis or Gotham City, wherever it takes place, with her lasso being let down in the process. I can actually really visualise that. Yeah, that's that'd be badass. Really good. I mean, there was a lot of uh, Wonder Woman ones. Yeah. Um, but Cy Cavins Wolford says, just lists everything that he wants to see. Aquaman, Plastic Man, Martian Manhunter, but most importantly, Idris Elba as Green Lantern John Stewart. Yes. Which, it, like, Green Lantern John Stewart with Idris Elba isn't the first time someone said that. I, yeah. Like, I keep seeing that, that popping up all the time. So good. Um, but That would be per absolutely perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loads of people have been saying Green Arrow, like, and, like, we've got one here, says Stephen Amell's Green Arrow because it'd be a wise move to connect the TV universe to the movie universe. Now, I haven't actually seen any yeah, of Yeah, no, I, I've seen a bit of Green Arrow. Yeah. Um, is it good? It, 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 it is. It looks soulless to me. No, like, well, no, it's not. It's, but it is kind of, you could say it's a little bit cynical, um, purely because it's essentially Batman Begins, the TV series. Right, okay. It's so similar to Batman right. Begins, it's ridiculous. Really? And um, for me, Green Arrow is sort of a slightly more light-hearted character. I know there's been dark takes on him and stuff, yeah. but he's a bit more like his Bruce Wayne-esque persona isn't an act, for example. He right, really okay. is like a bit of a ladies' man and a charismatic guy. Yeah. Whereas in the Arrow show, yeah. it's a lot darker and it really does take a leaf out of the book of um, Batman Begins, uh, okay. even in terms of the music. Yeah. And so, yeah, I, I think maybe keep him away from Batman versus Superman and keep that in the TV show. I don't think, I mean, lots of lots of people have mentioned the show and lots of people saying, oh, it'd be a good idea for them to tie that universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's never going to happen. No. Like, they would ne I don't think 
they would ever go, oh, that's so good, we're going to take him out of the TV show and put him into the movie. Like, Yeah, it's just a but one then, But then at the same time, if they are going to introduce a Green Arrow, they're not going to have two Green Arrows. Well, I don't know. Like, yeah, they, they will. Really I don't know, because they had Smallville running at the same that's time, point, like actually, Tom yeah. Willing, so I think that's just going to stay TV. And yeah. then if they do introduce Green Arrow to the show, then it's going to be a huge actor. Expect yeah. it to be a big name. Because it's a big character. Yeah, it sort of it seems like a muted way of introducing that character to the movie world by going, oh yeah, this dude's just been doing it, so we're just gonna get him. Yeah, in. exactly. Um, um, and uh, uh, finally, from real movie fans, don't watch Twilight. <laughs> um, I don't think that's fair. Um, he says, anyone except Aquaman. Bullshit. Now, Aquaman's amazing. Aquaman is a brilliant character. <laughs> Seriously, I love Aquaman. I think like, yeah. um, what's that show? Um, Entourage. Yeah. Entourage has ruined yeah. Aquaman's reputation. But if you I actually like the Entourage Aquaman. That little, <laughs> bit, that little bit they show with him like running down the pier and the wave. But yeah, yeah, the, the, thing. the way they that's cool as shit, man. The way they treat him like a joke character <laughs> yeah. and, and also Robot Chicken as well. Yeah. Like I, I just think it's really harmed his his reputation. But if you actually read the comics, the yeah. comics are going through a really badass The new stage. 52 Aquaman is yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you, if you've never yeah, read exactly. Aquaman before, read the new 52 Aquaman. Yeah. Come on, so, like, he can control sharks, yeah. piranhas, krakens. <laughs> that would be good. He's um, awesome. Let's get it. This, this is the final, final one then. Okay. From, from Greg Williams on Twitter who says, for the post credit scene, he wants Christian Bale as the real Bruce Wayne kills imposter Ben Affleck by poisoning his animal crackers. Mm. We're, we're fans of Batfleck. So yeah, we love the Batfleck. We wouldn't like to see that happen. No. But you spoke to... We've spoken to so many people this week. Yes. And you spoke to Natalie Portman and Kat Dennings. About yes, who their favorite I Batman did. Or Superman. How did you control yourself in that room? Uh, I, to be honest, I had more difficulty with Hiddleston and Hemsworth. Oh, really? Yeah, because um, I love those guys. <laughs> but um, you, you'll see you'll see Dennings and uh, Portman's answer now. Let's have a come out. Oh. Is this like a trick question because they're not Marvel? Yeah, they're DC. <laughs> I hate both of them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm a Marvel girl. Yeah, yeah. And what? my favorite's I, Thor. The answer's yeah, Thor. Yeah, Thor's great. <laughs> but I do love Christian Bale, so sorry. So it's that time of the week again. I know you've all been looking forward to it, where we break out the Luther League. Yes. Uh, we've got some really, really good suggestions. My favourite, favourite one has come from Tom J. Davis, who says, how about Ed Norton for Lex Luthor? Mm. Uh, he could go all American History X and curb stomp his enemies. To be fair, he's going to be spending quite a long time trying to curb stomp Superman. Yeah. <laughs> Those um, teeth ain't going anywhere. But I think I think it's a really, really good thing. Like, yeah, yeah. I mean, he's a, it'd be a sort of like middle finger to Marvel as well because they sort of you know with his oh, treatment yeah. with like Incredible yeah. Hulk and stuff and they're just going do you know what we'll have him might not be good enough for you but he's good enough for us yeah yeah um, and I, I do love Ed Norton did you see yeah. the SNL stuff it's so good yeah yeah, yeah. him pretending to be uh, just all like archetypal Wes Anderson yeah that was just it's brilliant really really good check it out if you can yeah and it's Halloween and it's a, it's a fake horror trailer so yeah. yeah check it out so let's have a look then so we've had some interesting ones and some mental ones. Um, I really like the Michael Parks one. Someone said, who said Michael yeah, Parks? Yeah, um, that was Sam McCohen. Yeah. McMahon. McMahon. McMahon, Vince, like okay. Vince McMahon. That was, yeah. yeah. Either way, he says, Michael, Michael Park. Parks for Le Lex Luthor, mainly because of Red State, so which is a good shout. He's gone on there. I really he's like he's that. menacing in Red it's State. He's in Red State. Yeah. Um, but we have some really weird ones as well. So... Uh, who else did we get? Oh, yeah, Damien Lewis. Someone's been going on about Twitter for ages and I f kept forg forgetting to put it on there. Yeah. Well, thanks for that one. Yeah, Damien Lewis is quite good. He sort of maybe he's lost his like homeland buzz a little bit now. Yeah. Um, but I don't he seems know. to be destined for quite, you know, big things. Yeah. Like Damien Lewis. Uh, Stanley Tucci, you wanted oh, to put on. Yeah, really good. Stanley. Cool. Yeah, he's great. He's so good. Yeah, Cy Cavins Wolford said Stanley and he's bald. ought to be in the Luther League, I reckon. He's bald. Uh, he and he's bald. charismatic. But and he looks exactly like David Escoyer as well. So. <laughs> yeah, he really does. <laughs> so they got that little connection there if you want. Yeah, yeah. You wanted to put James Cromwell on there. Yeah, mainly because I've been watching American Horror Story Asylum yeah. uh, over the weekend. Yeah. And oh my God, he is terrifying in that he's show. Bald as well. And he's bald, which is yeah. literally the, the most important Maybe thing. Maybe a bit too old, though, because I thought I saw someone mm. uh, yeah. moaning about the fact that Brian Cranston is still top, even though he's quite old. They seem mm. to think that he'd be, they'd be going for a more 
uh, something similar to Cavill's age. Right, okay, so um, more of a rise of Luther rather yeah. than an established Luther. I but don't know. But then he is established because we saw all the things in Man of Steel where you see like Luther Corp and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. So He's got to be older. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So He's, he wouldn't be... He needs time to build that empire. Yeah, so. it wouldn't be Smallville Luther like in high school or anything like that. In I mean? fact, like, it would be more like someone uh, number three entry. Yes, yeah, so he's shot straight in. So we put Edward Norton on there, uh, but you've put Ben Kingsley on there. Mainly because uh, I met up with him recently and uh, I put it to him that he should play Lex Luthor and uh, he seemed pretty enthusiastic. Would you ever be interested in playing Lex Luthor? Have you spoken to my agent recently? <laughs> I haven't actually. I think you should. You got some wonderful ideas. <laughs> really. I think you should be in my, on my team. Anytime. Great stuff. Well, he seemed well up for that. Um, yeah. I remember like when we interviewed him for I think well, when we interviewed for Iron Man 3, like he was really up for like as we, you know, said like oh, we you be up for doing more superhero stuff. Mm. He seemed like the nicest guy and he was oh, like he's so, so he really wants to lovely. get involved in yeah. you know, a lot bigger like movies and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, in Iron Man 3 he proved he can play because it, it, that role is phenomenal as well yeah, that he yeah completely um, but then it'd be quite a serious role for him and he seems to I mean how's he in Ender's Game um, yeah he's good in Ender's Game but I think I'd, I'd want him to be more like his sexy beast Kingsley okay. oh, like properly yeah. scary that would be really really good yeah uh, but yeah he shot into straight into number three um, and I, actually I, like when we said Ben Kingsley mm. that was a I mean because you know people who watch the show I have been going on about saying like I felt like we still we we still hadn't seen the one. Mm -hmm. And when you said Ben Kingsley, it was one of those moments where I was like, not that I thought they would be him, but it was one of the moments where I thought that you know, there's obviously loads of people we haven't thought of because yeah, completely. How did we not think of Sir Ben Kingsley? Yeah, exactly. I just I haven't put the Sir in there. Do you reckon he'll be pissed off? He 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 will never watch the show again. Well, that's about it for this week's Cape Expectations. Uh, remember to keep an eye out uh, on Twitter and Facebook because we'll be putting out some shouts for the next episode, which goes yep. live on the 13th of November. And uh, yeah, keep updating us with your Lex Luthers because we love reading them and any comments you've got, nice or bad, um, we'll have, and use the hashtag Cape Expectations on Twitter and Facebook if you want. Yeah, and uh, thanks very much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.